Hi guys, my name is Shannon Hernandez from ShannonJHernandez.com online resources and today I'm here to teach you about creating a table of contents in Google Docs. Creating a uh, table of contents in Google Docs is no different than how you would create a table of contents in uh, Microsoft Word. Maybe a little slightly different, but uh, it's still easy all in the same and you wouldn't believe how many people ask me this question about how to create a table of contents in Google Docs and also Microsoft Word. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right to it, show you exactly what you need to do to create the table of contents for your ebook or whatever it is that you are creating. So I'll go ahead and get out of this uh, document right here, this presentation, and take you into a blog that I have created that I'm actually going to be posting out here very shortly. Now this, uh, this blog right here has headings. Now, the important thing to know about creating your ebook is that you're going to need headings for chapters for um, subsections of your ebook. You know this. You know that you need to have um, subsections. Um, anyone who has taken any type of basic uh, language and lit course know that uh, there's always a subheading that clarifies uh, an uh, overall point. So the way I do this, I go ahead and create. I got to create the headings first, and I come in here. And you see that I've already created a couple of headings right here, step one, and then I have step two, and so on and so forth, step three. So say I wanted to create an introduction, and we'll say this first paragraph right here is my introduction, which it really is. I'm going to go ahead and type introduction. And once I've typed introduction, I'm going to go ahead and highlight it and head up here to the normal text styles menu right here in Google Docs. I go ahead and I click that and I go to heading one and I click it. And once it's clicked, it go ahead it creates this heading. It creates like a chapter or a section of uh, an area. Now if I were writing an ebook, heading one would probably be for chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. I think you you can get the idea. If anything underneath my chapters needed to have a heading, I could go ahead and create that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to come down to step three, and we'll say uh, step three, pre-writing about your topic. I want to create a subheading, and we're going to say uh, here, I'm going to make a couple of spaces, and I'm going to go ahead and center, and I want to write, say, we'll just call it uh, pre-writing, uh, we'll call it pre-writing pitfalls, which I'm just making it up for the sake of example. I highlight, highlight it, come over to normal text styles, and then I can create a subheading, heading two, and it creates it right there. If I wanted to create a head, another subheading underneath this one, I could come down here, do the same exact thing, center, and then we'll call it pre-writing tips and tricks. Highlight it, and then just follow the process over again. Now that I have these subheadings and headings in there, I can go ahead and I can create my table of contents. So I come back up to the very top and I can create or insert a new page if I wanted to, or I could go ahead and just make a couple spaces, but in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new page. And if you didn't, if you missed how I did that, I went over here and I said, I wanted to come down and create a page break right here. This is, makes a brand new page. So if we come back into the insert menu, I go to table of contents, click it, and there you go. There's your table of contents right there. Within your table of contents, you can edit the style of the table of contents. If I wanted to highlight it all, I can uh, make this say EB Garamond font, and I wanted to make it uh, font 18. And there you go. There is your table of contents. And you can also, you know, uh, come up here and you can title it and say table of contents. And, and be aware right here that this is still in a heading right here. So I don't want this to be a heading because it would show up in my table of contents. So I'm just going to make it normal text, change it to E.B. Garamond, and I'll make it uh, like say 24 font. And then there you go. There's your table of contents. And now you can test these right here. So if we come down here to our step three and you can see that I have pre-writing pitfalls and then underneath that is indented a little more pre-writing tips and tricks. You can go ahead and click on those and then see right here this link that you can click on 
and it'll take you to pre-writing tips and tricks, the heading underneath there. So that is how you create a table of contents in Google Docs. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, shoot me an email at shannonjhernandez.com. Um, you can also su subscribe to this YouTube channel or get on my newsletter update list and you can get uh, updates on when I'm uh, teaching Google Plus classes or uh, any other videos and uh, blogs that will be released uh, for the public to use as their online resource. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.